This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. You are now witnessing greatness. He is back. The return is official. Adrian Laflame Hall is back. Small forward this time around. Outside scoring style. Six foot six. 244 pounds, number 24 this time, right-handed monster, Lord Lightskin, the Lightskin Assassin, whatever you want to call him, he's back. I know a lot of y'all are upset that Sean Harris retired and he's gone until 2K17, but this dude will make up for that. He's going to be a beast, trust me, but let's jump into this short story. During the warm-up, all I could think about was my brother that was murdered. He was only 24 years old, and that's why I wear this number 24. Every game, I'm out here playing for him. Dunking on these scrubs, crossing them over, shooting threes. That's nothing but net. Blocking shots into the crowd. Get that shit out of here. Out here balling. To the point they started calling me a high school phenom. And of course I ran with that. But let's skip ahead to the high school state championship. We've been here four times in a row and lost twice. So we had to come out here and win this time. I'm doing everything I can, doing everything in my power to win this game. Stealing the ball, out here with the windmills. Who doing windmills like this in high school? Me, that's who, your boy. After four years of high school, I'm a two-time high school state champion now. And of course, I wanted to go straight to the NBA straight out of high school. But with the NBA rules and all of that now, I couldn't. So it was about that time to move on to the next level. College. I chose to go to UCLA. Following the footsteps of one of my favorites in the NBA, Russell Westbrook. I felt like UCLA was the perfect fit for me, so why not, right? But let's skip ahead to my very first game in college, my debut. I'm thinking everything about to go smooth just as planned. I'm hitting my wide open teammates, they taking the shots, making them. I'm getting the ball doing what I do, pull up with the jumpers, making them, running the break. One on three, split the defense, going to the post, fade away like Kobe, making them. Everything is going well. I'm out here smiling, and then this happens. I go up for a layup, contact. I land awkwardly. Something is just not right. I can't walk. Weeks go by, torn MCL. And I'm back at home thinking. Went back to where it all started. The blacktop not too far away from my parents' house. With my stepsister. And we out here talking about something very important while taking shots. And uh, I made a decision. She kind of talked me into it. But I made it final. I'm going overseas. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some basketball on 2K Sports. It's Sedevita Zagreb taking on Lamoz CSP. Yes, I'm overseas now. I got crossed up by a former NBA player, James White. He used to play for my hometown team, the New York Knicks. But after he crossed me up and made the shot, I made it my mission to get revenge by dunking on his teammates and winning the game. We went back and forth, back and forth. He came back, scored, I came back, spin move, step back, jump shot, I scored. And then after a while, it was just one side. Wide open jump shots, they playing no defense. I'm doing everything I wanna do. Everything I wanna do, deep jump shots. What? Game one was a blowout. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some basketball on 2K Sports. We've got Lamont CSP and EA7. Skipping ahead 10 games later, my last game overseas. Now of course I didn't know this was gonna be my last game coming into this game, but 
you'll see why this was my last game before making it to the NBA. Now, I don't know who this guy is, number 24 as well, just like me, but he got under my skin. And when you get under my skin, I perform even better. Now, he was stepping up. He kind of remind me of a Dirk Nowinski. Same hair, same shot. He's good, but I'm better. He got wide open jump shots. I got wide open jump shots. We both made our shots. But this is the play right here that got me to the NBA. The 360. In traffic. On somebody head. 360 on somebody. Now you know why this was my last game overseas before heading back to the U.S. and getting ready to sign this contract. Seven days go by, and I'm stressing. I'm pacing back and forth, nervous as all hell, getting up, sitting down, getting up, sitting down so many times because I know I'm days away of making my dreams into reality. Now my fiance walks in, and I'm still thinking, still stressing, and now we're having a conversation about it. She calms me down and tells me to just wait. Days later, I got my agent, I got my manager, which is my sister, and of course my fiance all in the same room and we're talking. They're telling me to make the smartest decision possible. We got 10 teams interested in me, 10. I scratched seven teams off the list. I got three teams on the list now. That's the Golden State Warriors, the Toronto Raptors, and the New York Knicks. All right. All right. Hello. My free agency has been nothing short of amazing. And frankly, it has been a dream come true. But like most dreams, the reality is very different from what I imagined. Though I wouldn't change a thing about this period and the time I spent in the NBA, I can honestly say that nothing has been more gratifying and more difficult than choosing where to play next year. I sought the wise counsel of my loved ones. Nothing puts me at ease more than knowing that regardless of my decision, you guys will be there for me no matter what. Now, there are so many wonderful teams in the league, each filled with stellar talent and all vying to be number one. For me, there's nothing more important than winning and surrounding myself with those who feel just as passionately about the game as I do and have an unrelenting desire to win a championship ring. That's what matters most to me. It is for this reason, above all, I decided to play for 